What a banger. What a beautiful login screen. Guys, don't look at my password. Alrighty, this is what's new today. Invalid credentials? Hmm, that's that's worrying. Listen here. Oh, I'll let me and Shizzle are the first ones back. So Shizzle gave me his crossbow because I am poor. You want to see how poor I am? Hold on. I have a 400k cash stack. That's how poor I am. Uh, ignore the uh, four bill total bank value. Ignore that. Anyway, what we're we going to do today? Let's explain. So there have been some uh, rev changes, which uh, I'll swiftly go through because there's not a lot of them. But I mean, they're kind of huge. The amount of revenants in the revenant caves has been doubled and their respawn timers are now 33% faster. So... Killing revenants is, uh, well, there's more of them. So you can kill them faster, allegedly, kind of. And then basically all of the revenants loot table has been increased. Uh, so they drop more of everything, but the items that they now drop more of are no longer noted. Which means you have to use this to note them. So if you use this, if you kill stuff in the rev caves, their drops are noted. But I will test without this, because the idea is if you pick up a bunch of unnoted stuff, that means you'll fill up your inventory and looting bag real quick. But we'll see how quickly you fill up the looting bag with and without an amulet of avarice. Because uh, if it's 20 minutes without the avarice, then uh, that's not too bad. You probably want to bank every 20 minutes anyway. All right, Bloodhound, you have to go back in the bank. It's too dangerous in the wilderness. Head on in. Let me pull up a stopwatch. So I will do this for about one hour. Protect item on. Gaming time. Right, let's see. Revenant Imp times die. Pew! Oh yeah, there's legit just two Revenant Imps here. So there used to be just one in this room. Oh good, it's a PK already. Run! Uh, so it's still single plus here, as you can see. So escaping should be like pretty damn easy. Uh, it'd be easier if I wasn't scold because then I could bring a bulwark and tank, but whatever, it's fine. So now that he, the hobgoblin is healed, he can't heal for another nine seconds. So revenants can't like spam heal now. So that's nice. Yeah, this is legit just two times the amount of revenants. They just increase the spawns by two. Oh, there's our first blighted sack. So blighted vengeance sack. And that is worth 2k. So you go get a little bit more. And those don't count as an actual drop. Or it kind of does, but like blighted stuff you get like on the side. It doesn't replace the drops they always dropped, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's start the stopwatch and uh, yeah, I don't wanna- I don't wanna die. Blighted Manta Ray. Okay, so those wouldn't have been noted if I didn't have this, so uh, that's cool. Okay, you still kill everything super fast, there's still not enough revenants here. If there's not two dragons- okay, there's two dragons, good. So I should be able to kill these guys completely. 42? Why do these dragons shred you so hard? What? Why am I- does this bracelet not do anything anymore? Look at how much damage I'm taking. What? Bruh. What? Do you have to pray against these? Am I stupid? Hey, room plate legs. I guess they only dropped one of those before and I get two. Can someone explain? I thought this bracelet made it so they can't hit you. Okay, so there's no point in using the amulet of avarice because by the time you have, by the time your looting bag fills up, you would have used up food to the point that you need to bank anyway. Like runite ore, yeah, that'd be three runite ore. Right, we'll kill one more dragon because I'm not comfortable having this much food. Like I don't have a lot of food and I look juicy to a PK because I have, I'm scold. This is so stupid. See, yeah, now there's a PK on me, bro. You got AGSing? Okay. I was literally just saying like, bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get attacked by PK to make sure we're restored up. He immediately caught the freeze course. Like, he doesn't have TB, so it's not- 42?! What kind of bolts are you using there? He caught the freeze immediately again?! What's mage defense, dude? I don't have any of it. Sorry, I don't know what that is. Oh, my mage defense is getting annihilated real quick. Uh, uh, oh, uh, we made it. Just. Do you know what I mean? If I stayed there until I had no manta rays left, I would have had six brews and I would have, like, not made it out. And all of that for 400k loot. I mean, it, maybe it wouldn't have... Uh, whatever, let's try it again this time without an amulet of avarice, and I'll bring like a bulwark and stuff so I can tank easy, okay? It's just, uh, it's, it's worth noting. I got 400 and... What was it? 420k? 420k in loot in... Look at the timer. Less than eight minutes of being there, and I got attacked by a PK, so I had to leave. So, if you multiply that up... So this is a very rough calculation. 420k times 8 for an hour. That is over 3 mil an hour, but like, that assumes you don't get PK'd. There's something in here. Wow, what's in here? I just wanted to unskull. Wow, 11 maple shortbows. Delicious. Banana, please. Okay, one second. Good job, there's your banana. <laughs> Scammed. <laughs> Aren't the blighted ones cheaper? Blighted manta rays? You know, only buy some blighted manta rays, I guess. 1.1k. Yo, they're more expensive. Normal manta rays are 1.1k. These are 1.2k. Yeah, normal manta rays are legit. <laughs> That's so stupid. We're gonna protect the crossbow, the salve amulet, the bulwark, and the Avaz Assembler. Avaz Assembler gives us a little bit more damage, uh, and that's it. 
Um, yeah. And I'll bring a uh, yeah. I'll drink a stamina potion before I go. You know, I mean, this is kind of stupid. Alright, so here's one thing that's got a gripe. I know this wasn't this update, this was a different update, but I killed one dragon, and I already have to eat a manta ray. Like, that's how much damage I took with, like, the best, I mean, the kind of best weapon for this. Basically, what I'm saying is you'll, you'll fill up your looting bag, and you'll run out of, run out of food really quickly. So, like, the Amulet of Avarice doesn't make much of a difference, in my opinion. Unless you're taking zero damage, which you can't. Oh, Blighted Manta Rays. Yo, it's <laughs> it's actually better not to use the Amulet of Avarice. Because you can stay longer, because the supply drops are unnoted. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, it's really counterintuitive. Go away. There's two here, two for me. My boys will come, sure. <laughs> My boys will come for you, the PK gets in a... <laughs> Oh no, he's attacking me. Gold start it. Oh, this guy's actually trying. Oh goodness, what am I gonna do? He went to AGS me while I wasn't stuck. Nice man, good job. I've never seen such a skilled PK. Why don't you just TB me? You have the runes, you're on the normal spell book. I oh, there you go, that's a TB. Get him, okay. Wait, wait can I just like, mess him around and like, scoop around the corner? He got totem. Um, I, I didn't, but okay. Okay, goodbye. I'll just lose you on the shortcut, I guess. Like, oh wait, he's not come. Wait, do, do you not have the agility level to come off, the come over the shortcut? He doesn't have the agility level to go over the shortcut, dude. Else he'd be doing it, right? No way. <laughs> wait, let me look him up. It's 75 agility. Wait. 1.8k total. What a meme. 110k. And um, yeah, we got attacked immediately. Catch the freeze, dude. Catch the freeze. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is tragic. Wait, I just got gap on you? Oh my goodness. You've embarrassed the entire PK world. The best change you can do right now, f first of all, I think this bracelet should be buffed to what it was before. But anyway, assuming you don't buff the bracelet, I think the best thing you can do is when you are when you use the Amulet of Avarice, do not note the supply drops. Do not note the fish. If you have an Amulet of Avarice, you can stay here for longer because your looting bag won't fill up. But it also means you can't stay here for longer because you don't get any food drops. And if you don't bring an Amulet of Avarice, it means you can't stay here very long because your looting bag fills up. But it means you can stay here long because you get food drops because they're not noted from the Amulet of Avarice. So it kind of contradicts itself. So uh, yeah, if you made it so Anglerfish and Manta Rays don't get noted from the Amulet of Avarice, then Amulet of Avarice would totally be worth using because you could stay here for so long. Try to get some distance on this bad boy. Oh, that's unlucky. He got three splashes. Four splashes. Oh, this is unfortunate. Five oh, okay, he got four splashes. I have sick range defense. AGS? Ooh. Ooh. Come on, one save me. That's sorry, I wasn't concentrating, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> dude, I was at 1 HP. I was looking at HP like, oh dude, I got a combo. <laughs> so that trip was pretty well. Uh yeah, 491k in like eight minutes. Is that another PK? -er? I wonder if they're together. Oh, content! Yeah, baby! We got PK -er versus PK. -er. <laughs> this is what the wilderness is really about. Hold on, let me just grab my loot while I watch this onslaught. Hold on. Uh, now we sit here and watch. This guy's gonna kill the victor. Is he maxed? Oh, nice max cape. I heard any cool people have that. Oh, did he claw? M I don't think he. Whoa! I don't think his, his maul went off. I'll step away or else they might get angry at me. Yo, this guy, this is the guy who attacked me. He's getting kind of shredded. He's ready with the claws. Yo, one of these are a team. Oh, claws! I'll keep the dragons off you guys. Oh no, wait, they're leaving. Hold on, the content. I must see what's happening. Well, I didn't use that much food. Let's go back to killing revenants. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, bolts are kind of sick. I'm guessing he's hoping that, like, he just catches me out where, like, I'm at the end of a trip and don't have a lot of supplies left. Let's see, how many do we get? 295k, and my bag was nearly full, but that's just because of the drops that I got, so, you know. Wait, <laughs> wait, what? Why are the mahogany plank- Okay, I guess this drop was always noted. But yeah, I guess the drops that weren't noted but got doubled, they are now noted. So, you still get some noted drops, so Avarice isn't, like, absolutely essential. The bag was actually full, so I needed to leave. So, 330k, nice. <laughs> He baited out the, the switch and then took for- Oh my goodness, this guy switched into rage when he needed to freeze me. He should know that my range defense- What's he do- Is he like AHKing? He's switching really fast, but then attacking two ticks after he switches. Like, he switches to mage to bait out a protect mage, then switches back to range, but then doesn't attack for two ticks. He just sits there. He doesn't even target me. You switch fast, but attack slow. Weird. All right, how much do we have that time? Like, it got 200k in like four minutes still. Whoa, two dragon plate legs? 
Yo, we're making bank, boys. 700k and it's just full. It's just filled up just now. I didn't even realize. Not even calculated. Barraging me right as I'm about to kill you. <clears throat> All right, we're done here. Goodbye for walk time. So this is an hour on release. I mean, it's pretty, pretty, pretty packed. For the last 10 minutes of the hour, I hopped to a 2.2k world and I didn't see a PK there. But the, for the last like 25 minutes of the hour, I didn't really see any PKs. So let's see. This last inventory was worth 196k plus whatever's in the sack. Plus 230k. Okay, so that's like 420 k again all right let's do some calculations if we do a nice so i'm gonna add up i i check every time i banked i put the amount that my uh loot was worth on this notepad so let's add up so 420k plus 110k so we did get 3.1 mil worth of loot with the amount of int times we get interrupted it was kind of insane but i did get 3.1 mil worth of stuff now how much did the supplies cost me i'm gonna say they probably cost 500k i can i can estimate about so this is i didn't keep track exactly but this is a very good estimate uh i did nine inventories and so this is about everything i used in an inventory times nine so 300 to 500k worth of supplies let's say 400k so that means 3.1 mil minus say 400k so yeah uh 2.7 mil profit and that doesn't factor in if you get weapons or the five mil totem or whatever i don't profit off the aether the aether i get from the revenants fuels the bow the bow keeps itself alive oh yeah that's another thing so uh, with this bracelet, after every few trips, I would uncharge the bracelet, uh, and then I put the aether into the bow, and then I kill like a revenant imp just to get the bracelet have a couple charges in it, uh, and that's how I keep the bow alive. That way, you don't have to spend money on aether. Uh, so this is the ideal setup, in my opinion. So you have four restores, which is you'll use two or three to actually kill the revs, and you have an extra one in case you need to tank a PK and get TB'd. The bulwark to uh, well, to tank because look at the defense bonuses this thing gives: 80 range, 80 mage, and 70, 80, 50 melees and you know my range like triples my mage goes down and my melee like doubles or triples so yeah bulwark is good and then you have two doses bastion that will keep you through the trip and two doses is like enough so that at the end of the trip you can drink the second one and then you have one more inventory space for loot same with the anti-venom you can just drink that or drop it by the end of the trip and if you get attacked by a pk you definitely want anti-venom because if you start taking venom damage especially if you get tb'd yeah that's a lot of damage which you could prevent with just one inventory space uh and before you leave just drink a stamina one dose and then grab another manta ray quamp ones because as you saw in one of those clips i legitimately nearly died and i would have died if i didn't have a quamp ones so yeah bring like two quamp ones if you get into trouble and you need a combo eat so manta ray brew quamp one um otherwise this is the gear the coif this just gives prayer bonus you could wear god dehyde uh, actually i would okay i don't have god dehyde legs legs apparently how the heck did I attack you? But uh, yeah, God Dehyde gives prayer bonus. Otherwise, I think it's the same as Black Dehyde. So yeah, prayer bonus is good. Oh yeah, Guthix is the cheapest Dehyde set. So there you go. Uh, otherwise, this and this Rada's Blessing, blessing is free uh, if you've done the diary. And it gives prayer bonus. Ava's Assembler gives damage and accuracy. If I didn't have an Ava's Assembler, I would bring like Pegasian Boots. The items that I'm protecting are the Bulwark, the Amulet, the Backpack, and the Bow. Um, Yeah. So if you don't want to protect your Ava's Accumulator, because Ava's Accumulator is quite easy to get, then you can you, you can bring like Pegasian Boots. You need the bracelet to not take too much damage. Explorer's Ring just gives a little bit of prayer bonus. And there you go, there's the gear setup. So this is pretty solid, in my opinion. It's like 2.7 mil an hour profit, plus like all the unique, so it might be closer to 3.5 mil an hour, or 3 mil an hour. But like, Vorkath is the same, and Vorkath doesn't take, like, doesn't... You don't can't get interrupted to killing Vorkath, but it does require Dragon Slayer too. So, I mean, the blighted items aren't a massive buff. I got 66k in blighted sacks, but the biggest thing was the fact that they dropped blighted manta rays, quamp ones, and anglerfish. Because then that means because the revenants d deal damage to you, you can just constantly eat to just heal, and you'll still have full full food unless you get unlucky, don't get blighted drops. And then basically all of their other drops were doubled. Like rather than one rune full helm, you get two, but they're unnoted. But that doesn't matter because, like I said, by the time your looting bag is full, you probably want to bank anyway. The revenants heal themselves less often, kind of. They they are capped at healing once every nine seconds. Yo, there's no one at the Grand Exchange. Oh, dang it, you ruined it, Crazy Leo. 2.2k world, there is a, a hot 75 people on it, and there was no one at the G. What a rare sight. Yeah, so with this Guthix D had a plus 9 prep bonus. It's not huge, but it's nice, I guess. But now let's sell the Revenant loot. Yippee! The first inventory being sold. Again, we know that I made about 2.7 mil profit, but it'll be nice to, to see. Okay, I, I, someone in chat just reminded me that the... <laughs> The Runelight uh, Tracker 
loot tracker is there, so there you go. 3.3 mil, Revenant Dragons, 96, that's what I added up. So that, that's all the loot, just, just to be absolutely clear. But I'm gonna sell some anyway. I might sell more than I got because I had extra in the bank. But there you go, 3.3 mil from 96 Revenant Dragons. They just need to make revs nuts again. Keep them as they are right now, but then just make the drops nuts. So that there, it's actually the best money. Okay, that's obviously, I obviously sold too much stuff there. I have 5.9 mil. I think I withdraw too many... Too many rune items, but there you go, there's the money. But there you go, there's the Revenant update, pretty cool. The Revenants are like better now, they're like kind of viable, 2.5, 3 mil an hour, not bad. Hey look, a group Iron Man, if you don't watch my group Iron Man series, shame on you. Look, I'm I'm training. Okay, 75 strength, nearly 70 combat, I mean 70 attack, 87 combat, holy moly. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, hope you found it informative. Uh, I usually make update videos and uh, right now I'm working on group Iron Man series, so do the subscrumblies and uh, comment what you think about the uh, Revenant Cave update down below. I'd like to hear it, be quite interesting, because maybe uh, someone got a better or worse experience from it than me. Uh, otherwise, yes, that's all. See you at the next video.